Identify the air reservoir in the backside of the uterus and open the valve. Use the suction unit to inflate the air reservoir of the uterus. To show you how the system works and how to test for correct inflation level, we take you behind the scenes. Here you see the two air reservoirs being filled with the penguin. Normally the air reservoir to the right is covered by fabrics, but here you see both. To test whether you have filled sufficient amount of air, hold around the visible air reservoir with your hand. The other reservoir, which normally is covered, should feel firm, simulating a contracted uterus. When your grip around the visible reservoir is relaxed, air is distributed between both reservoirs. The covered reservoir should now feel like a soft uterus. Close the air valve. Check that the valve of the blood tank is closed. Ensure that the blood tube is connected to the blood nipple on the back side of the skeleton. Fill the blood tank with the desired amount of water, up to 1.5 liters, and add concentrated artificial blood according to the manufacturer's instructions. Return the blood tank cap and mix well. Fill the syringe with 20 millimeters of water. Press out the air from the syringe. Inject the water through the urethra until resistance is felt. Place the green squeaker unit from the neonatally kit into the holder of the mama natalie waist belt. To avoid spillage, attach the fluid drain to the back of the skeleton. Place the floor protection under the collection tray. Ensure that the end of the fluid drain is inside the collection tray. Strap Mama Natalie around your waist. Adjust the belt so that the simulator is secure and snug against your body. Pass the cervix ribbon through the holders in front of the uterus. Tighten the cervix band to the desired level. 